My name is Rhapsody and welcome to Slay the Spire Downfall. Downfall is a modded expansion for Slay the Spire. We'll just quickly pull this up here to say Downfall is a full featured expansion for Slay the Spire, including a new campaign, four new heroes to play, new relics, new cards, new potions and more. The heart demands that this endless cycle of slaughter be finished. Answer the call as a villain to see the defense of the Spire. This mod is a combination mod pack that includes the former known mods as Slimebound mod, Guardian mod, and Playable Sneko, along with a ton of new content, a new character, and much more. Uh, this is a mod that I wanted to cover desperately two months ago when it came out, and even got an early copy of from Michael Mayhem. Thank you, Michael Mayhem, as well, by the way. Uh, and confirmed that I definitely was going to be doing. And then my brain blew up and I disappeared for a while, but now that I'm back, it's time to do the dang thing. Just gonna, at the very top of the video, because I don't want it to get buried, give credit to Michael Mayhem, Vex, Keo, Alkir, Aerosels, The Evil Pickle, Blank, e uh, Blank the Evil, Johnny Devo, Freshbone, Half Goblin Hanklin, Hanklins? Hankins, sorry. Alex Drieger, Aram, Nelha, Dark Glade, Alex M, DLE, Rita B, and Casey Yano, who apparently worked on this. Casey Yano, of course, being part of the dev team for Slade the Spire itself. Uh, art use credit towards uh, Just the Schema, Bruce, hey Bruce, uh, Astrolux, as well as Chronometrics, George, Eric, Eric Cleus, as well as music credit to Pandora's Bread, Testers, and helpers including Rayna, Mukaz Go Moo, Jedi, Skyson, Chuff Money, Z Woofies, Tiamoko, and localization by Borok. A uh, Borlock, sorry. And now, with no further ado, it's time to jump into the downfall with the slime boss. The heart's slimiest general can fight as one. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's going to happen. Okay, cool. Can fight as one or as many. Has the starting relic heart of goo whenever you consume. Heal to HP. Starts with 99 souls rather than gold. And has four unlocks remaining. Let's jump in. So instead of now at the very start of the run, the heart is appearing to us and saying slay intruders. I will say at this point, I specifically avoided all information about this mod. I know in general broad strokes, such as I am playing as the bosses and I am fighting not the bosses, but that's about it. I have very much work to keep myself spoiler free on this. Slay intruders, says the heart to the slam boss. At least confront the first intruder. Enemies in your next two combats flee in terror, or we can get plus six. You can see here that the map is starting with all of the uh, all of the rest locations at the very top. And we're working our way downwards to the defect. And that is the thing that I didn't just mention a couple of seconds ago. I know that the enemies in this are the original heroes. I love the just inversion of the map. Just, it's such a neat little touch. Okay. Enemies in the next two combats flee in terror. So obviously, let's actually have a look at the base deck to start with. We've got three strikes, a tackle, four defends, a split, and a corrosive spit. We'll make sure these upgrade for the standard amount. Yes, they do. Plus three each. Uh, tackle. Deal 10 damage and three to yourself. Upgrades to 13 and three to myself. Especially considering I'm going to be able to heal up from consuming. That seems like a reasonable, useful card. Choose one of four slimes to split into. Split is a keyword that says lose four HP and summon a slime minion who attacks at the start of each turn. While the slime is alive, your max HP is reduced by four. If you have no empty slots, your oldest slime is automatically absorbed, absorb being another keyword, to make room, granting you one strength. And then we have corrosive spit that applies goop. The next attack deals one more damage per goop, removing all goop and triggering any consume effects. Upgrades to become zero cost. So this gives us, yes, two slimes on its upgrade as well. Uh, should I go max HP? It means in your next two combats, flee in terror. Yeah, probably. Seems reasonable as this character, especially considering we're going to be splitting, decreasing our HP in other means. It's a shop after a shop. Interesting. Typically, that would violate the rules of the game. I wonder if one of them is uh, is some kind of a different shop based on the downfall mod itself. 
I mean, I imagine they probably have to be. Souls being different to the uh, to gold. Souls shows how many souls you're carrying, and souls can be given to the heart for rewards, so you may want to carry them until the end of the run, I guess. Interesting. Let's start here. Love starting with an upgrade. Maybe I'll just get that split early on. See if I can try and focus on just splitting a bunch of times. Uh, sure, let's get a strike out of here. Mass feed, oh baby! <laughs> Deal 10 damage to all enemies if fatal. Raise your max HP by four. Oh God. <laughs> well, that's a good start. Okay, so I am going to hit that one once. Yeah, it just got weakened. It's a little bit unfortunate there. Hmm. How do I want to do this? It's it's imperative that I make sure the mass feed goes off on as many targets as possible. So let's do that, that, and then that. And then next time I cycle back around to the mass feed, it's going to be fine. I take five damage here in order to do it. But we get six max HP. Ten souls out of that as well. Uh, I will be treating each of these characters as though I've never seen them before, despite the fact that I have played the mods upon which they are based. Or ported from, as the case may be. Vicious Tackle deals 14 damage and 3 to yourself. This gains twice the damage bonus from Gloop. There's also Goop Spray. Uh, goop, sorry, Goop, not Gloop. Uh, there's also Goop Spray, which is apply 10 Goop and 2 vulnerable to all enemies. That seems like a really good way to set up for the mass feed. There's also Split Bruiser, Split into a Bruiser Slime, and Command two times. Command is your leading slime attacks. So a Bruiser Slime itself is attacks for five each turn. So if I cast this, it would attack two times already for two instances of five damage. The upgrade being, ooh, Command at extra time rather than zero cost. Goop Spray gets extra Goop and Vulnerable, and Vicious Tackle just gets a little bit extra damage on that one. I'm gonna go for a Goop Spray. Also avoid that store. Okay, so there is a Gorilla Slime, which is three damage to all enemies each turn. Okay, so AoE. Uh, this is a Maya Slime, which applies goop to the enemies, as well as attacks. Attacks for two and grants you two block each turn, so it's a Leeching Slime. Then Bruiser Slime. I probably want a Leeching and a Bruiser. Then I'm going to goop you and strike you too. Then goop. Okay. It's 19 damage by itself. Start of the next turn, we'd deal lethal if I did that. Okay. That's the best I can do right now in order to set up for the mass feed on the next turn. Chomp. Slurp. Add two licks to your hand. Interesting. Lick is now a apply zero. Uh, sorry, apply four goop by itself. Do I want slurp? Just a bunch more goop. Gorilla would be good for setting up some AOE. So three. So with this upgraded, this is nine damage AOE, and then ongoing three damage AOE each turn. Lead by example. The first card you play each turn also commands. Commands is your leading slime attacks. Interesting. Um, I am getting a lot of goop already, so let's take a slurp and see if I can play into the goop strats. Then let's cut back over this way. Sure. Oh! Uh-oh! Am I about to die in my first run already? So you've got barricade. But that's it at the moment. Okay. You can no longer gain block from cards, so you just have 430 HP. And then seem to be dealing 10-ish a turn. Okay. Oh, no block wears off. Okay, so you, you alternate between the two. Got it, got it, got it. Let's split and... I like the idea of going leeching, leeching. But I also need damage. Let's just go Bruiser Leeching. Oh, right, yeah, of course. We can't get two of the same. 
So then I'll corrosively spit, let's slurp them and tackle for 48 damage. Soul Stealer? What? Has stolen 15 of my souls and now you just get to run away with them? <laughs> okay, I guess I'm just not supposed to go to merchants yet. Sacrifice. Oh, okay. So if I want to be able to take my full amount of money with me, I have to kill the merchant. Well, time to look at a bunch of new cards. Equalize deals eight damage, heals four. Consume a bonus effect, which activates when an attack is used on an enemy who has goop. Play this twice. Obviously, we're probably going to take equalize here. Uh, upgrades to doesn't one cost, but it does go 12 and six. Nice. Disrupting Slam, deal five damage to all enemies, apply one week to each enemy that intends to attack, upgrades to eight and two. Okay, actually pretty appealing as well. Replication, choose a card in your hand, add a copy of that card to your hand, upgrades to be zero cost. This is, oh, it's good. Oh, I, I remember having done some very, very nutty things with that. Actually, can I, I cannot afford it. Oops, just short. Shape a puddle, gain an intangible, exhaust. A recklessness tackles deal three more damage to enemies and one more damage to you. Upgrades to five and one. Torchfire boss collector. Deal 14 damage and damage is increased by three for each debuff on the enemy. Interesting. All of them pretty interesting, but only one of them is equalized. So let's take and upgrade uh, mass feed. <laughs> I... Almost made a huge mistake there. Shovel? Hmm. I'm not going to take the shovel. I, I'm probably going to be taking and upgrading a bunch of cards this round. Okay. Split, obviously, get a gorilla slime and a leeching slime here, I think. Pop a defense. Spit at you and then tackle you as well. Actually, I should have tackled someone else because you're going to be my goop target, right? Yeah. Oh, gosh. I wish I could. Yeah, I think I actually should just goop spray. Get everyone's artifacting off. Get everyone vulnerable. Wait, I'm going to need to set up for a mass feed at some point as well. Oops. Okay, I'm going to slurp you for extremely close to lethal. We're not going to be able to get to mass speed in time to kill the mid one with it. Should have focused the frontliner then. I, I am too enamored with the new content to be playing well, apparently. Okay, that's fine. Is it, or do I just take the damage? I'm gonna set up for some more goop. Specifically for the mass feed. Okay, great. Throwing all of these away is not helping me avoid them in the next cycle as I thought it was going to. Oops. I said it's not like I drew an ultra defensive hand there. That's reasonably defensive. On mass feed. There we are. Matroshka as well as slime spikes gain seven block and three momentary thorns. Oh, I love a good momentary thorns. A momentary buff effect that adds a debuff effect, which causes you to lose the buff effect at the end of your turn. So if, if you wanted to consider this uh, in terms of the cards in the base game, flex would be momentary strength. Growth punch, deal four, gain four, consume, increases the card's effect by four this combat. The goop deck is a good deck. Good goop deck. Uh, let's see, I still need to mass feed both of them. It will matter. So 
So yeah, here's the thing, right? 20, not enough. Equalizer right now is so much HP back as well, though. I shouldn't have double gooped you. Let's go Mire and Leeching, just to try and defend myself a little. <laughs> the boss, it's so strong. Uh, gosh, I need both of them to attack the front line. This combat, okay, it's only this combat. Ah, we already lost the backliner. Oh, well, we still healed a decent amount out of this fight. It's a mass feed at the end. Replication. Deal eight damage, consume command. Okay, so just press the attack, right? To your frontliner. Play the top card of your draw pile. Repeat for each of your spawn slimes. Extremely powerful. I mean, let's just replication. And I'm going to go for the Emerald Delete this floor. Replication on an Equalized would be really good. It's just when do I get to set up the goop on this enemy? Maybe I uh, replicate the split. Just double split this turn. Okay. We'll start with Maya, then Bruiser. And then we'll go... Bruiser, then Leeching. So we lose the Maya, we end up with the Leeching to get 2 HP each turn, and then we're dealing another 10. I'm also just going to go all out for the damage right now. So I think we can probably finish this a lot faster than I might be expecting. I'm going to slurp him so that I can Growth Punch. Spray defends. Taking a heck of a lot of damage right here, but... Fine. <laughs> I'll just equalize the heal rather than wait another turn. Uh, I was hoping that was going to work. Gain block equal to the enemy's goop is nice on the loot strike. Uh, so, so combo tackle. Actually, upgrade is 8. Combo tackle is deal 11 and 3 damage to yourself. Draw 2 cards on the upgrade. Interesting. And Nibble, deal for damage, add a random zero cost card to your hand, upgrades to add an upgraded version. The problem with this is it generates a card by consuming the goop that I've already put on the enemies. But maybe that's fine. Why? Haunting Lick, apply one vulnerable... I'm going to pop a regen potion. And we're just waiting for mass feed at this point. Okay. Come on, mass feed. Happy to take 8 damage to increase my max HP again. They're no longer vulnerable, but they still have enough goop. This should be okay. Chomp. Waste not. Returnal, zero cost exhausted cards to your hand. That's obviously an extremely good synergy with the upgraded replication, as well as nibble. And split. Pretty it's just pretty expensive for that effect, is the thing. Um, I may just skip. Ah. Uh, we'll take it. See if we can make something of it. Ooze Bath. Apply three goop to target enemy at the start of each of its turns. Okay. Go for Leeching Gorilla, defend, defend, and then strike the frontliner. Just trying to get them down 
around the same time as one another. We still haven't seen feed, have we? So I've actually got this. Hopefully feeds in the next hand. Yep. Leech energy. Consume, gain an energy and draw a card. Upgrades to gain an energy and draw two cards. Uh, how often do I want to just consume a small amount? Not super commonly. And another replication. I'm just thinking these get upgraded and then Waste Not brings back two replications. Baby? You got an infinite going. Slime tap, absorb. So on absorb, manually recombine with your leading slime. Returning the max HP it took and gaining strength. Okay, cool. Slime tap would be nice, but I don't generate slime that often, apparently. Um, I think I probably just equalize. Hey, you don't have any money. Well spotted. What's this split gonna get for us? Nothing really. Split into a... Gorilla and Leeching. And just... Defend them and throw some extra damage out there. I may just mass feed next turn. Just kill the frontliner. <laughs> Guess I'm not gonna mass feed this turn because I'm not able to. Okay, never mind. Apparently, the looter just doesn't leave anymore. Let's slurp, double lick you, and then mass feed. Slime slap. Consumes, but doesn't remove goop. Upgrades to zero cost. There's also absorb, gain one potency. Potency is a increase the damage of all your sli uh, small slimes. It's like focus, uh, if you want to think about it that way. I'm going to take a slime slap. I may just be bloating this deck beyond all ability to do much at all with it at the moment. I'm a little scared about that possibility, but... Oops. If that's the case, oops, I guess. Alright. I know I didn't get the mass feed there, but I did heal up pretty significantly, and that's, that's nothing to turn your nose up at. I don't really want a block core as much as I want a large amount of HP. Ah, oh, why? As much as I want a large amount of HP and the ability to constantly refill it by consuming. Seen these before. Don't necessarily want any of them. Oh my god. Oh my god. Please give me the mass feed. I'm about to get weakened, so defend. Goop spray is the best thing I can do this turn. And then I'm just, just waiting on that mass feed. It's not going to be enough, is it? No, wait. With the goop, it'll be enough. This is... Uh, um, I'm going to replicate a defend <laughs> so I can defend two times here. Ouch. <laughs> you do have to be kidding me at this point, right? Very bottom of the deck. But it's all good. It was extremely worth it. Uh, okay, opening tackle. Add a random tackle card to your hand. It costs zero this turn. Upgrades to upgrade that card. Don't really care about that either. Ooh, I don't have a, a rest before the boss. Yikes. Hey! <laughs> Alright, so it. What, what have you got? Meow's Blessing replaces the starter relic upon pickup. Increase your max HP by 100. It makes sense. Um, increase your max HP by 100 at the start of the second act, draw two less cards, and lose energy at the start of your turn. Ooh. There's also one dex, whenever you shuffle the draw part, gain six, and boss transformed a starter card into a new card. 
So is that the order in which those are being played? Is that all of those being played this turn? So defend, zap, and then you can't play dual cast because you've only got two energy? So defend, slurp. I should probably strike before the slurp. Actually, no, defend, we slurp, we strike, we... Oh, uh, sorry, we lick, we strike, then we lick. Just so that we can get a little bit more consume off from the Heart of Goo. Oh, an upgraded leap. Don't love that. Well, for me, the turn is kind of obvious. It's defend, goop spray, and split to try and get probably mire and leeching. Those seem like the best ones to sustain us through this fight. Okay, good. We did get equalized. You're about... Ooh, ball lightning upgraded as well. Good lord. Hopefully, Nibble gives us something that gloops. Sorry, not gloop. Goop. It goops. Ryan, get it right. We'll get the growth punch to grow there. And now that we have a Maya Slime, we're going to have the growth punch grow effectively every time we draw it. Hey, speaking of... I mean, it's... Eight and eight is not bad. I'll, I'll replicate that. Ooh, three full energy this turn. <sighs> Streamline. That's not what I wanted the enemy to be able to do here. Uh-oh. Uh, waste not. What did that bring back? Brings back a whole bunch of stuff. One, two, three, four, five. Five cards? Okay. Weakening the enemy this turn is huge, so... That's a, a big reason why we just did this. But other than that, I'm also going to use the Slime Slap. So that means I should nibble and then do everything. Okay. Make him weak, vulnerable, double lick him. Get a Mire and a Leeching again. Then one big old slap. Which doesn't remove the goop. Right? We take 21 this turn. Yeah, unfortunately, that does mean. Yeah, there you go. Str oh my god. You have the same turn? That's so rude. I. I think I'm about to. <laughs> I think I'm about to eat dirt on my first run here. Oh, good lord. Okay, so what can I do? Because I'm actually pretty sure it's nothing at this point. Defend doesn't get even close. Yeah, I got too addicted to the idea of just picking up multiple cards. Saw everything and every single one that I looked at, I was like, ooh, that's a... That's a, that, that's a spicy card. That could go in the deck. That's a spicy card. That could go in the deck again and again and again. Hey, new character unlocked at the very end here. Uh, that is to say, at the very end of that individual run, oh, we're not done. Don't believe for a single GD second that we are done. That's not how that one goes. A hundred souls. Sure. Seems good to me. Take this and then hang a right pretty instantly, I feel. Still like the split upgrade. This is a lot of versatility. You come again across a dead adventurer on the floor. His spirit still lingers in the area. Also, the armor and face appear to be scoured by flames. The soul harvesting ritual could re uh, yield results here, but whichever creature slew this man may return soon. Ah, they did return. Well, this fight's going to be rough. Uh, okay, we got our split. That's good. So I can get the gorilla and leeching. Get, say, a little bit of AoE as well as a little bit of defense generation for me. Okay, heck, a single strike is going to kill that backline in the next turn. 
hopefully. And it does. All right. It, it does feel bad to lose the run that had the mass feed at the very start. It was an extremely good start. We went from, we gained 40 max HP over the course of that floor. There is a relic in this game that gives you 10 max HP, uh, 14 max HP, and it is rare. So I just downed a bunch of mangoes? Extremely powerful. Oh, uh, no. Okay. Okay, at least give me the kill this turn. Uh, why? Oh, <laughs> uh, the draws were effectively perfectly synced there so that I was defending on the wrong turn and then attacking on the wrong turn. Grow. Lose one slime slot in exchange for two strength and two decks. Upgrades. Interesting. Also, the end of the run is a silent. Should I grow? Sure, let's try it out. Proceed onwards as well. Seems good here. Double strike, nothing else in that hand, unfortunately. Again, another situation of the wrong things on the wrong turn, unfortunately. That's defend, corrosive, and then attack. Just so we can get a consume, heal up two. If we heal two, it's kind of like blocking two, if you don't really think about it too hard. All right, end of fight. Effects that apply goop apply one more. Upgrades to become innate. There's also tongue lash, deal two damage, deals two additional damage for all of your cards containing lick, including exhausted cards. So now the goal is we lick a bunch. We become a licky tongue. I'm going to give myself the opportunity to see two more cards before I have my elite. Uh, double defense. Split into Gorilla and Mire, I guess, just so that I have... Oh, I could have attacked. Whoops. <laughs> Whoopsie doopsie. Um... Hmm. I'm taking three damage at the absolute least this turn. Fine. Heal up a little bit there, and then a little bit more at the very end as well. Sampling Lick. Apply four group and gain four block. Seems good. There's that Tongue Lash. Or defend happily though. Got Nunchku with one left on it, so do I want an attack on a turn where I only have one attack in hand? Honestly, probably still, yeah. Then we strike, spit, and strike. Ooh, Spiked Energy Drink from Downfall. Muddle the two highest cost cards in your hand. Muddle changes the cost between zero and three. Okay, so it's a, it's a Sneko effect. Growth Punch makes a lot of sense if I'm going to put more licks in this deck. Split to the two obvious ones again. Grill and Leeching. I'll defend and sample a lick. Take a double strike against the front layer as well. May want to consider using one of the potions in this fight so I don't get a potion at the very end and then am sad about it. I'm going to use the Silk Chaos here, I think. Grow, Corrosive Spit, and then a Tackle. <laughs> uh, admittedly, not exactly what I was hoping for there, but it's okay.
Or at least not the targets I was hoping for. Take down that frontliner. And then... Start on the next as well. That's going to be killed in the AoE. And then I got effectively a free turn for attacks here. Not really a great turn of those free attacks, but yeah, with the tackle in the next hand, we're totally fine. Bottle Flame upon pickup, choose an attack, start each combat without your opening hand. Interesting. I just like replication. The thing is, what am I going to put in my opening hand as an attack, right? Like, I guess Growth Punch. Wanted to grow as soon as possible. Tongue Lash eventually, but, like, it's going to be a while until that. I probably should have taken the strawberry. Should I be taking the... Should I even be taking the keys at this point? I don't know. I don't really know what they're going to benefit us for. Okay, decrease the cost of grow. Grow, I mean... Grow, growth punch, replication... Sampling Lick. Yeah, the Lick's upgrade to draw a card. Grow's too important. I need to play it every single battle, pretty much. So I am not going to be able to do anything to you. So in lieu of that... I guess I'll goop you so I can try and get some HP on the way out. Let's replicate the sampling lick. And I'm gonna attack you. Sampling lick, sampling lick, split into something that gives more goop on them. Alright. At least we do still get the merchant. Ooh. Start of each combat, draw two additional cards. Interesting. The first time you consume each turn, add a lick to your hand. As well as slurp, add two licks to your hand. I'm going to take those two. I'm going to take bag of preparation. Uh, I'm also going to cut a basic strike from the deck. And I'm thinking about that leech energy too. Yeah, yeah. I, I want more consume. So I, I'm a goop lick consume deck. Those kinds of things working in tandem with one another. All right, I know my turn. We'll upgrade everything in the hands. I'm going to replicate the grow and double grow here, I think. Yeah. Replicate grow. Double grow. Then I can spit and then growth punch if I want to increase that, or I can spit and then leech seed if I just want to keep going off, and I think I just want to keep going off. Okay. Then let's split into a leeching and then a bruiser. The leeching gets eaten immediately, and I'm just going to throw out two attacks worth more, although I could have done the growth punch earlier, so I could have saved myself the damage from the tackle if I remembered I was already on that area for Nanchiku. Totally can't be using that turn to actually defend right there. Gets an extra lit card in hand. Just play some goop. Uh, actually, that's going to be enough. Ron scales as well as the Emerald Key there. That's another gluttony. Oh my god. Okay. Well, definitely know where I'm going with this deck now. So I'm thinking Gluttony, Sampling Lick, and then Growth Punch. Getting us a, a, a Lick back in hand. And then also fit the Grow in there, I guess. Okay. Let's 
Dang. All right, let's get the gorilla for the split, and then Maya for the setup of more leeching. I'm worried about that gremlin. I think that gremlin wizard might actually have a shot. Okay, I'm gonna replicate leech energy. Leech you, leech you. Tongue Lash instantly kills there. I'm gonna hit you and then kill you as well. And then the final one is just down to the draw. There's very few draws in this deck that shouldn't be able to kill that, but still worth noting. Slime tap. I don't really summon slimes. This is the thing. Like this deck is very much not a slime kind of deck. So I, I think none of these maybe. Definitely start out with Schlurp. It's Growth Punch there, then... I'm gonna actually Lick and then Leech Energy there for the kill also. Let's throw out a Defend and just a Tongue Lash. I'm just not even gonna bother with the Gluttonies and such. Grow, defend, and then tackle the frontliner, and then the backline take care of itself. Mega lick. Love a good week to all enemies. Upgrade three random cards, but I get a curse of regret. I'm happy with that. Mega lick and two defends. Eh, not super happy with the, the defense there. Receive eruption and store a card. You can have regret. Eruption is very much only a fight finisher for us. That's the only thing it can do. Unless, you know, I want to die. Um, I'm gonna replicate a sampling split here for a little bit more defense. Okay, and then split for Gorilla and Bruiser. Just want as much damage as I can get. And a little bit more goop on the front line, so I'll be able to take him. <clears throat> uh, oh. <laughs> That's what I get. I said I could only use it as a finisher. This is uh this is just me proving that point. Definitely. It's uh it's in it's intentional. Repurpose. Absorb game. No. No, all of those are about more of them. Good lord, you have so many relics! Start a uh, end of your turn, gain one block for each card. And I mean all of these are just their usual equivalents. Okay, same with the Nyasbiasing there. <clears throat> I mean, I'm very happy for you to double block on the first turn. Let's grow, get gluttonous, and goop him. So, incoming is 16. Again, get gluttonous. Weaken you. Attack getting our first consume. I'm gonna defend, I'm gonna lick you. Oh, stacking gluttony doesn't give you two the first time you do it. Instead, it gives you the first two times you do it, you can get it. So you can trigger it another time. Okay. Yeah, you're not gonna be able to play those. They are retained at the moment though. Uh-oh. Replicate leeching energy, so we leech, and then we get a goop back in hand, and then we do that, and then we leech. We get a lick back in hand. Perfect. I want to leave a lick for the very end here as well. 
go Meyer and Leeching. Yeah. We leave a lift for the very end just to set up the first consume on the next turn. Ooh, only a protect this turn, but the sands of time is coming down in cost. Life is getting harder. Lick. Up again. I can't start reaching for lethal yet. It's not. Not possible. Establishment. Uh oh. That's a lot of cards being retained in hands. This is this is like one of the last turns I think I get. All right. We're two away from a nunchuck. Oh, that's a lot of incoming damage this turn. Start with the growth punch. Tackle. This is just the biggest defense I can put out there. Oh my god, the biggest defense I can put out there is significantly more than enough. Leech. Lick. Leech. Lick. Eruption. Strike. Got him handled. Deal three damage. Command, when you split, place this in your hand, wherever that is. That's exciting. That's in slime. Apply 14 goop. Whenever the next attack... Sorry, the next attack used on this enemy does not remove goop, but it still triggers the consume effect. So, obviously, a, a pretty good damage buff for a kind of deck that I'm currently running. Deal 7. Whenever you play a card this turn, can command. These are both very good for the build that I am very specifically forsaking right now of getting extra slimes. Tarblob. Gain energy at the start of your turn. Splitting costs two more HP and max HP. I have been forsaking splitting. You are needed in the city. I will proceed, heart. Beautiful. Ooh, we can have an elite right at the very start here. Okay. I actually kind of care more about my upgrades right now. So the maximum elite path is two elite path. But other than that, I just want to maybe just go down here, get as many upgrades as possible, because break emeralds. As a free action, you destroy the key to get one dexterity. Okay, I'm assuming obtain it, break it later. Got it. So the, the idea is that you take these in order to destroy them. Cool. Yeah, I, give me a dex. At the start of the combat with the Beyond's boss, gain a special card. So, so, Smith. I don't need to make those innate. I like them being innate, but I don't need them innate. In fact, I don't want them in the opening hand with the growth punch. I want sources of actual lick damage in the opening hand, right? Um, things that we can make cost less are extremely important upgrades. Slope is pretty good here, too. More licks for more scaling damage. Hello, Shell Parasite. Hmm. Growth, Slurp, Attack, Punch, Slurp, shl uh, Sorry, Lick, Lick. Right. I'm going to replicate for another lick here. We just throw a strike in. Uh, the Tongue Lash. Yeah, I'm going to throw the Tongue Lash in, I think. Just double-lick in the next turn. I honestly don't really care about Split at all anymore. I think we're past that point. Ooh, thank you, Leech Energy, for turning up, because that was otherwise going to be a... Turn. Okay. Let's just gluttony defend and then 
Throw out damage cards while we can. And wrap it up with an eruption. Equalize. We'll consume adds a lit card to your hand, though. That's really good for keeping the combo going. So is leech energy. Oh, gosh. Earth Punch is 4 extra damage, 14, I can do 14 with the Growth Punch here. Gives me the ability to take that target out and then tackle and strike for the front. Guess I can do that turn, I guess. Okay, Gluttony, Schlurp. Let's... Goop you two times. Kill you. Uh, Megalic, I probably need to leave until the... Oh, I mean, it does, it's already upgraded. Draws a card. Fine. Maybe in this fight, it's still a good idea to split these. Hmm. Replication on Gluttony. Play two more Gluttonies. Let's use a Leech Energy. Getting back a Lick, then a Growth Punch. Getting back a Lick, then a Defend. Leech Energy is so good here. All right, let's start out with that. Make a lick. I don't... Is this going to double the damage as well that I'm dealing extra with the goop? Or goop isn't extra... No, goop is after the fact, right? This is four... Yeah, it's, it's not going to be close enough. Right? We can put how much goop on you? 16 total right now. Actually, we can even get more. And then we have 11, 55, 16 on top of that. 16 on top of... We, we have lethal, don't we? Oh, yeah, we extremely had lethal long before. <laughs> long before I thought. All right. Combo tackle does draw two cards. Gain 12 block, apply four goop to attack his turn. I mean, that's also reasonable. Gain block equal to the aim's goop. I don't know if that's even worth the cost that it has there. Um. Yeah, this one might be just pass. Okay. I mean, this one's just kind of standard and straightforward, it feels like. Play out the powers and then bop them with the strongest cards. Goop them. The draw, goof him for the draw. Gotta love how well that's working. This is the point at which I have to figure out, like, what pass this would continue to add to the deck and what would just detract wildly from it. Oh, douse his life. <gasps> ah, that was a bad decision. Yep, that was a bad decision. Oh boy, that was a bad decision. So I just make sure that I heal up before I go to an elite. So many dazed. Uh, whoops. <laughs> Didn't really have much time to heal up there, I guess. Uh, 
Let's take another slurp because I am trying to scale for bosses my tongue lash. Which honestly, like the tongue lash at this point should be upgraded. Let's lose the 10. Oh, the, the event text is different. My apologies. The Cowardly Knight gives a few pesky scratches from afar with his long sword, then runs away screaming. The other knight runs after him angry. You return to your work annoyed. So unfortunately I lost. Uh, Gremlin Horn, whenever an enemy dies, gain an engine draw card. What would the Sapphire key even give us, right? The Emerald gave us defense. Sapphire has got to be focus. I'm assuming. Yeah, these leech energies need to draw an extra card. Oh my god, do they ever need to draw an extra card? That is monumental for this. Okay, let's go. Gluttony and Schlurp. It's also split into Mire and Leeching. I'm also going to pop a regen potion here, just in case. Gonna have to goof him later. Love a good replication on a leech energy here. And we'll lick leech energy again. Grow, slurp. Leech energy again. Tongue Lash has well and truly escaped the curve here. I haven't got another Glutton stacked away. No, I don't. Okay. So now it's just defend. <sighs> Hopefully we got a reasonably defensive turn here. Megalic with the weaken. That's 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 not nothing. Don't turn your nose up at that one. even get to full block. And at this point, we actually may end up making it out of this fight with uh, more health than we came in with. And we will, beautiful. Back to almost full. Tongue Lash number two. Okay. Leech Energy, Replication, Tongue Lash, all need an upgrade. Growth Punch, honestly, is just not part of this deck anymore. It hasn't been for a while, but I think I think I've properly limited myself here. Um, douse and then punch him. And add some more goop. Just for funsies. So we could pop a defend, tongue lash. I mean... There's just not too much that I get to choose to do this turn, so I guess we'll just do what I can there. Okay, and then... There we go. Ow, ow, ow! A lot of damage we get to take as a result. I get to heal up two on the way out. Jar of Slime applies 15 goop. There's also a more split. Still not my thing! Hmm. Grow double gluttony. Defend. It's a strong setup turn. I'm not gonna split. Trying ultimately to heal out of this fight. Okay, Schlurp is great there. Let's click leech. Leech. Um, 18, 9, okay, cool. Lick, 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 slurp, lick. We there? No, nope. lick. Still not there. Oh my god, we're not gonna get there, are we? Come 
Oh, yeah, 27, exactly. Oh, got him. <laughs> uh, just don't want to have to deal with too many enemies at the same time. Oh, well. I think we're done dealing with enemies. Sampling Lick is a nice little biding of time right there. Go for some more Questos. Hmm. I kind of want to just replicate the, the sampling lick. So I will. And then generate just as many licks as I can. We'll figure out exactly how many it takes to get to the middle of a shelled parasite. Grow. Let's tackle for no extra lick. Why is it? Oops. Made a mistake there. Oh, that was giving me bot like collector cards. I thought sorry, I thought it was just giving me a colorless card. Okay, uh Kakor, awaken one, getting straight. Oh, yeah, good. Um it does make them zero cost, I'm assuming. Remove all block, apply three weak, vulnerable, and yeah, to all enemies, remove all block, and then deal extra damage, I guess. <laughs> um, 14? That was 28. Sure. Worked out. Pick up a strength potion as well as lead by ex No. Uh, Bonus gains is uh, twice the damage bonus from goop. No, I, I don't stack up high amounts of goop. I consistently utilize small amounts of goop. There's another grow there. A little bit appealing. Prepare crush. Next turn, gain three energy and add, add three strength and add slime crush to your hand. Mm. Two potency also. Mm. I kind of think I just need what I already have in the deck to run a bit smoother. I'm gonna go for the second grow. Especially for boss fights, it feels like I'm just gonna be able to escape the scaling of the game. Want to try and get all those artifacts off so that we have an easier time later. Oh gosh, yeah, we actually have a turn where we're not going to be able to consume. I really should have just left a consume on the, the sentry there. Okay, so what can we do in response to this? Apply 15 goop with a jar of slime. Oh, that actually may be the play. Yeah, yeah, that's the play. It, it, it helps us out so much here. And then leave you with some lick. Hmm. <laughs> Replicate leeching energy will erupt. Lick. Attack. Lick. Attack. And then finish it off with a tongue lash for extremely lethal. If you command, command two times instead. No. Is that upgrade two? Innate. Interesting. I don't, I don't think I can put another Gluttony in this deck, right? What do we got? Two. Fine. <laughs> Fine, we'll do it. Boot sequence, claw, and strike. <laughs> Good opening hand, my man. So, no point of decks for you this turn. Ominous Forge has given you a Pain Curse and Warped Tongs. Wow. It's very much simulating a run. The boss defeated the bandits, getting the red mask, and starts with max. So I, yeah, I'm weakened on turn one. And you got an additional claw plus. Uh oh. Why do I feel like that's gonna be real bad for me? Is it because it definitely is? Okay. 
We already take no damage this turn, so let's finish it off with some slurping. This is very much just going to be scale up my tongue lashes. Like, that's that's the whole fight, I think. Let's gluttony and use one of them. Use the other. Love that the enemy is not actually damaging me this turn and they have pain in hand, so they're damaging themselves. Well, I mean, they are damaging me with the lightning. Um, I cannot imagine the amount of work that it went into. To... I, I will gush about this later. But oh my god, Michael, what the... <laughs> what the absolute hamer, man. In a good way. In a good what the absolute hey. Like, in a, like, extremely impressed kind of way. Stop glowing me. This is going to be bad. This could get real bad if you keep doing that. I am going to... Eh, you know what? I actually think I want more draw here. So that I can try and get an attack. There we go. So that I can actually start getting my gluttons off. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. That all worked out in the end then. Okay, there's a tongue lash as well as eruption in the next cycle. It's possible we just kill my drawing both. Uh-oh. Hit you lick. Hit you lick. And then just lick, lick, lick. Bad. Still could get that turn. Oh, you gonna, you gonna, you gonna build Echo Form right now? Why? All right, yeah, it's eruption time and then 150 damage. Duplicated Form. We'll uh, actually look at Mass Repurpose as well. Absorb all slimes, gain one potency, four block. And so it's literally repurposed, just all of your slimes. Upgrades to... Ah, six and six. Duplicated form. So every character has a form card, as you may be very extremely aware of. Uh, this one is the form for this character. Lose 15 max and 15 current. The first card you play each turn that targets enemies is played twice. The thing is, I'm not going to be able to double consume the enemy that I'm targeting with a, a leech because the first one will consume the goop and then the second one won't have goop to consume. I actually probably don't even want the duplicated form. Douse and Slime was underwhelming this floor, and I don't really see it getting super important soon, so. I'm actually going to skip those. I generate a bunch of zero cost cards, but the problem is if the leech energies cost anything except for one or zero, I just fall over. I got two upgraded defends in the base deck. I do, I do rely on those a lot, especially because I have grows. God, is it runic? I think it's runic. Is this going to mean I can't see what my enemies are doing? Like, as in the bosses? Like, ironclad? Am I not going to be able to tell what ironclad would be doing? It's going to be a problem. Possibly. How many elites do I really think I can fight here? <clears throat> so who are the elites, right? Let's think about that. On the previous floors, were the elites the standard set of elites? Were they? I didn't fight slavers last floor. The elites on the first... The, the elites on the first floor were Gremlin Knob. Gremlin Knob was one of them. I didn't fight a log of Woolen. I did fight Sentinels. Okay. So I'm assuming they're going to be the defaults. Your, your giant head, your nemesis, your, your reptomancer here. Uh, reptomancer gives us the old what for, don't it? We're good at giant head. And then... Tragically bad at nemesis. I should probably avoid as many elites as possible. Not excited by the prospect. Ugh, I actually may avoid all of them. Not excited by the prospect of doing this, but look, if I got to do it, I got to do it. And I got to do it, so I'm going to do it. Savvy. Let's get the key there, which I'll break in one space time free. 
or rather as a free action, not necessarily for free. Gluttony, you, get that, again, get that, and tackle. Oh, okay, small. Oh, let us play. Oh, little brothers. They have the same names, Darklings. Cool. I uh, just guess it's grow, defend, defend, and then start slurping them. Good amount of defense to have managed to pick up that turn. Yeah, I'm going to go through with it. Oh my god, we're one short there. I'm actually going to use the Strength Potion to make sure that we're not. Because I want a maximum of one enemy attacking me here while I have the Eruption up. It's Leech, Goop, Leech, and get back to full H. Effects that apply Goop apply one more. I don't know if I care. It's a very small impact, actually. Roll through. Deal five damage to all enemies. You do not take damage from the next three tackle cards in the upgrade two previously. Interesting. Very interesting. I think I'm going to pass on this one. Break Ruby. That gets this one strength. Figured that was probably going to be the case. I do like it, though. I like the upgrade on the grow also. Hmm. Definitely grow first. Don't have the ability to play everything in hands. So I'm probably going to short myself a strike if I had to guess. I also don't really want my deck to be trashed. I can kill the Exploder on a later turn pretty easily. Probably. <laughs> Sucks to lose out on Elite Energy. Elite Energy is so important for us. Again, the frontliner shouldn't be too difficult for us to take down later, so I need to start sacking some gloop on the backliner. Because I don't want to have to attack you a billion times. Okay, we'll defend. Douse in slime and <clears throat> finish the fight. Duplication potion, bunch of cards we've seen before and don't necessarily want. The Gremlin Horn has actually been really, really huge for us here. Extremely happy to have it. I shall up as well just to increase the cost of the... Uh, cost, rather, the, the effects of the Tongue Lash. Speaking of increasing the effects of the Tongue Lash. We get one kill. Yeah, growth growth punch was I I I would have to have such a thin deck for this growth punch to actually be as useful as I was looking at it and thinking that it would be. I I was looking at it and assuming a very optimal circumstance where I was going to be able to consistently utilize it and it's just not the case. That's not the amount of block that I want to generate this turn. Um, probably not going to go for the kill, so we can you do it again and then leech seeds. We actually do get the draw here. Nice. Let's click and then strike. I can then replicate the schlup. We may have had lethal if I played the eruption first. My ability to calculate this is going to evolve over time. Please trust me. <laughs> it will. All right. Another lick. Another tackle. Get some more HP. 
Slime tap, don't do that. Living wall. I mean, living wall is 15 block with two energy. It's not that bad. We have two energy relics, right? Yeah, we have two energy relics, so. It's it's a nice concentration of block in a single card. Hmm. Naturally, we start with the grow, then we're gonna find someone to sampling lick and hit. I'm going to draw because I have nothing to play that replication on right now. Replication looks real good now. Shanaji, we'll play a Gluttony, and then... Mega Lick, and... Let's set you up again. Mega Lick again. That would have tried to give me a, a thing back to hand, but it couldn't. Alright, and then build a wall. So they are going to be taking... Oh, come on! You need to hit the living wall, otherwise I don't do it! Eh. <laughs> Alright, we can definitely kill a target this turn. It's just... Do we do it? I, th I think we do. Honestly, largely because it just draws us a card. Which we can then try and turn around and use to kill the other one. Yeah. Nope. Growth Punch doesn't grow fast enough. I'm going to take the Sapphire Key here. Is this a bad idea? This is a bad idea, isn't it? It's an awful idea. Let's do it. Okay, start with the Dowsing Slime and then Leech Energy for the draw. I'm not going to be able to take... Yeah, not, not going to be able to take you down. Unfortunately, we just went both past both Tongue Lashes. And those are really kind of uh, finisher cards, so... Uh-oh. So Gluttony has one more time it can be triggered this turn. Replicate Strike. Eleven and then seven. Unfortunately heavily reliant on preventing the incoming damage here when I can't see what they're doing. I know they're just ramping, but I guess I just get nervous. There's also the fact that if they're not doing the, the burns attack, then they are just attacking for more damage, and that's still not great. Very glad, at least, to weaken the enemy here. Can't use Eruption. I think I could give the Eruption Permafrost. Retain. That's so much damage I'm taking for this, this Relic. This is a bit of be worth it. Slick, and then strike again. Tori, probably not worth it, I don't think, honestly. Duplicated form, protect the boss. Prevent the next time you would be damaged by an enemy attack, absorbing your lending slime instead. Still don't want him. Okay. Oh, okay. You retain the damage that I've dealt. So my goal is to go to a bunch of merchants in order to try and... I, I like it. I like it. Interesting. Um, you're blocking this turn. You attack next turn, which is when living walls would be actually very useful, unfortunately. It isn't right now. Let's slurp and then draw. See if that helps us at all. Not really, but I am... 
alternating constantly here in order to get some heals from constantly consuming. I have got to guess that you are doing more damage this floor than you would have done on a previous... Oh, no. it's. I think it might be... It does more damage every time you fight it, right? Because it, it, it attacked for 2 by 10 and now it has 1 strength. So it's probably doing... Sorry, uh, 2 by 5 So it's probably doing 3 by 5 right now for a total of 15 That's... That is my guess. I'm going to just casually straight defend it. <laughs> I was right. Uh, you're not on the field anymore, so I can just start start going. Yeah, because then you steal my stuff and then you run away. Let's grow. So I'll tackle for three damage to myself. Best I can do. We got him to half health. Could certainly be a lot worse than that. All right, Merchant. Apotheosis. <sighs> Leech life is really appealing there, but I don't think it's actually what I want. Uh, gain three block whenever you consume. Oh, hell yes. That's exactly what I want for this deck. It's also Flail Automaton. Deal six damage twice to all enemies. Gain one artifact. Upgrades to seven or two. Oh, actually really good. Uh... I should still just go Goop Armor, probably Oldly Smooth Stone as well. I need a little bit more defense. Four plated armor model. Centennial Puzzle would pretty much always be triggered early, actually. Let's take that. And then if it's card removal, honestly. <laughs> the the eruption is causing trouble, but it's it's a strike. Is it a strike? I still need attacks. I worry I might have removed too many of them. Requires 75 souls in order to break the sapphire. Still haven't got the ability to. Replicating the goop armor. Wheel, corrosive, and then punch. Solid uh, 13 block, and it was one short of the amount of block we needed, which was actually good for getting the Centennial Puzzle to trigger that turn. You're almost certainly giving me the debuff this turn, the wrap. Let's do that, that, that. Beautiful. There's the wrap. Oh, I am so glad I got another leech energy there. Okay, lick. Leech energy again. Gluttony. Lick. Lick. Schlurp. Keep doing it. Obviously don't want to use the eruption there just in case. Still would have been a bad time if I did. Uh, do we use the eruption now though? Yep, we do. Leech energy is still really good, and it's actually really helpful to kind of actually get the deck to run. It's a lot more impactful than I thought it was. Punch the lowest there, then two times on you. Casting Slime does seem pretty effective right now. They're all weakened. Okay, fine. Get ready to remove the frontliner. Okay, turned out to be the right choice over the double defend that I was otherwise going to be doing there. Forty-five. You're 51 right now, right? Now we can grow. Lick this target. Leech energy for the draw. Lick. Leech energy for the draw again. Go gluttony and then kill you with the unupgraded tongue lash. Leech some more energy and... Oh, we're just short of killing you.
I'm not saving the explosive potion for anything right now. I want to get on this fight on full health. Tackles deal more damage. No. Haunting for vulnerability and goop. That's actually pretty good, but still. I, d I don't want... I don't want to draw a handful of licks and not be able to do anything. And because they're not upgraded, it's just a lot harder for us. Okay. I'm going to replicate Tongue Lash here. I'm going to defend. Kill you. Kill you. Lick and set up for the kill on the back line as well. Lick and then kill the back line as well. The idea here being the frontliner is weak this turn. So even their double damage wouldn't have been that bad. Sampling lick and another lick. Let's leave you to attack me, maybe. Or not, because I can get health by killing you. Want that prepare? I think it's always leech energy here. Winding halls. As you slowly make your way up the twisting pathways, you find yourself in an infamous shifting hallways, or the infamous shifting hallways, rather, of the beyond. The lesser being would go mad trying to navigate these, but to you... They're as familiar as an old friend. The constant whispering voices ease your mind as you decide which path to take. We can explore an event. We can search the treasury for a relic or we can hunt down the merchant. Ooh. I'm going to do it. Get him. We did a lot of damage last time. It's not, it's not inconceivable we would manage this. It's replication gluttony, double gluttony. I need to do... A decent amount of setup here. Okay, so you're about to attack for 20. <laughs> or 40 if I actually want to use the eruption here. Oh, God. Oh, that's the worst. I might not be able to heal up before the boss if I do that. I'm going to choose not to. I'm going to play it safe. I don't like that I just played it safe, though. Because I think if I did erupt, I would actually be able to kill it. Yeah, it would have been 6 by 5, so it would have bypassed the Tori if I had of. A... Go Gluttony. Leech. Lick. Gluttony. Leech. Again. Tackle. Lick. And yeah, living wall. It's not going to be enough. We needed the eruption to turn up a turn later. That would have been enough. Let's tongue lash, lick, and then leeching. We may still get back to a tongue lash in time. Or not. Unfortunately, we're always going to be 15 short there. Even with all the licks played in the right order in the last turn. Yeah, and unfortunately, that's not really going to help us here. I'm going to take a Swift Potion for trying to fix my draw on a turn that otherwise might be awful. I like Grow before the Growth Punch. That, that's one thing that it has. Growth Punch grows two times with the Grow. God, that sounds like such a gibberish sentence. Growth Punch grows two times with the grow. It sounds like I broke. <laughs> Those kinds of things erupt, uh, or rather occur rather a lot in games like this. I used to find myself oftentimes when playing Isaac, realizing if I said that sentence to anyone in outside of the context of playing Isaac, I would be instantly institutionalized. <laughs> Slurp him. Yeah, I can probably pretty happily go for defense here, so. 
I'm going to take it slow. Gives me the opportunity to do a bunch more consumes. If nothing else, that's healing us up a little. Awesome. Hey, regen potion. Honestly, I don't have two super high cost cards in the deck. So, Muddle, not really that great for us. Apply three goop to a random enemy six lines. That sounds like a really good way to remove a bunch of artifact if that's a mechanic that's happening in this final fight. Okay. You have boss matched successfully and gained a powerful card. Oof. You also upgraded all strikes and defense. You've got some curses in the deck. You've got a red mask. You've got calipers. Ooh, that could be a problem. Retain, remove all block from the enemy. Okay, so Armor Break is here to help us actually bypass that. Like it, like it, like it. Okay, let's... Gluttony. You are attacking this turn with the Iron Wave. Thankfully, okay, I can still see their cards. I was worried that the Runic Dome would just remove the cards. And at that point, you're never going to know what they're doing. So I really, really appreciate that it doesn't. Let's Megalix, see if I draw anything useful. Probably use that on Megalix, to be honest. I may want to just, like, replicate an armor break, but if I do that, it's probably going to be the second cycle anyway. Got to generate as many leaks as possible here. Oh, goop armor. Attack. Flash. Getting more licks. Lick, 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 lick. Okay, so you're going to armaments your Iron Wave, then you'll attack with the Iron Wave. So you're going to have 12 block, and then you're going to have the Body Slam for another 12 damage to me. It's fine. If anything, it just helps me draw. Juggernaut and then power through, but you don't have the ability to burn the power throughs, do you? know? okay. So grow. Grow. Grow your boat. Uh, happily lick the enemy also. Do it again. Get another lick. No? All right, I've only got one gluttony out? <laughs> yeah, I've only got one gluttony out apparently. Whoops. Let's fix that. No? Still not the extra gluttony? Okay. Uh, well, we're not going to be taking much damage this turn, so I can just douse. But I can actually do way more damage if I don't douse. Yeah, don't douse. Just go for it. Metallicized impervious body slam. Uh oh. What oh indeed. Leech energy for the cycle of the draw at the absolute least. Remove all block from the end. Not gonna be able to do that this turn. Lick strike. Like, I will replicate a armor break just to hold it in hand. Because <clears throat> it seems like it'll be uh, 30 damage this turn, which... Oh, 34 even. Nice. Thank you for the lick back. We've got Tongue Lashes really rolling out of control here. It's now since Lime as well. Next turn, we're also probably going to have to armor break. Juggernaut as well. Oof. These extra Juggernauts are really, really intimidating. I, I have to take as much damage to the Firewall as, as is needed here, basically. I'll preemptively block where available, but it's not always going to be available for us here. Schlep, lick, lick, lick. Schlep, lick, lick, lick. And this should set us up for Tongue Lash still in the deck. Yeah, it's there, but that's the unupgraded one. I should have popped the regen potion ages ago, but I don't know if I'm about to go to a heart area after this or anything like that. But I do know that the ironclad is dead. To thump, to thump, to thump, a conf uh, comforting heartbeat can be felt throughout the room. Are you at the end? Is your purpose fulfilled? You feel something evil at your very core. You give 762 souls back to the heart. The heart squirms in elation, pounding forevermore. 
For all your efforts, the door to the heart chamber remains vulnerable. And that pesky, laughing, rug-toting citizen got away from you. So here we ask ourselves, have you truly done enough? So I think I had to destroy all of them if I actually wanted to be able to approach the heart's chamber here. If that is a thing. Again, going in completely blind. I say going in completely blind at the end of a one hour and 40 minute episode. By the way, if you made it this far, thanks for sticking with me. It's, uh, I know, I know it's a long episode, but first episode on a new mod and also first episode of a new series because this is not the official Slay the Spire modded series. This is the Slay the Spire downfall series. I kind of like having a, a good long first episode to introduce people at a reasonable rate and then also try and have a uh, a more casual run. Uh, I say casual, a more standardized run afterwards. Victory. We've unlocked Ascension on this character and got one level one. Okay, so it does unlock cards. So if divide and conquer, add divide and conquer to your hand. Uh, which add eight additional, sorry, deal eight damage, deals two additional damage for each spawn slime, and divide, which is gain two momentary strength for each spawn slime. So flex for each spawn slime, retain as well. Uh, add serve and protect to your hand, momentary dex. Okay, the inverse of the previous one. And then consult playbook, add four random attack and cards to your hand. They cost one less this combat. We're going to be making all of the progress we will make with these characters on screen. There is going to be no off-camera play whatsoever. I would like at this point to quickly go back and say thank you especially to Michael Mayhem. I thanked everyone at the very start. Michael Mayhem, Vex, Keo, Alkia, Aracels, The Evil Pickle, Blank, Evil, uh, Johnny Devo, Fresh Moan, Half Goblin, Hankins, Alex Driga, Aram, Nelha, Darkglade, Alex, M-D-L-E, Rita B, Casey Yano as well, Justice Schema, Bruce... I always don't say the last name because I'm not necessarily certain I would be pronouncing it correctly, but... What up, Bruce? How's it going, bud? Uh, Astra... Uh, sorry, Atrolux, Chronometrics, George, Ericleus, as well as Rainer, Mukasko, Moo, Jedi, Skyson, and Chuff, Wolf, uh, Chuff Money, Z-Woofies, Tiamoko, and Borlock. And Pandora's Bread for the music credit. My name is Ben Rhapsody, the name of the game has been Slay the Spire, specifically the expansion Downfall. All of the links for being able to play this yourself are included in the description down below, as well as all the links to playlists, past and present, for all of my content on Slay the Spire. And heck, I'll throw one in there for all of the Slay the Spire future, especially in the Slay the Spire Downfall mod. Being the first episode of a new series, I usually, I, I have buried this after all the credits as well, but being the first episode of a new series, it is really helpful if you like or comment or any of those kinds of things if you do enjoy the episode. If you don't, no need to. That's totally fine. I don't have a concern with that. Well done making it to hear this, despite not liking it the entire time. But uh, especially for the first episode of the series, those kinds of things matter. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves and hopefully we will see you next time.